Hello, everyone. Welcome to another episode of the Coffee with Coaches podcast. I hope you can hear the smile in my face because uh, I've been chatting with uh, Karina Suku, um, who is our guest today. Uh, first of all, she's fantastic. Second of all, <laughs> Karina is a business coach and mentor who spearheads Caption Consulting and Coaching Limited. She is skilled in collaborating with entrepreneurs and professionals to help them clarify their core values and resolve leadership dilemmas. The clarity, this clarity, enables them to be purposeful leaders. And she's known for meaningful collaboration. We've just been chatting for a few minutes. I can already attest to this. Karina, welcome to the podcast. Thank you for being here today. Lovely. Nice to be here. Hello, let's, everyone. Hello, hello. <laughs> let's talk about let's talk about your beginning, your your origin story, your superhero coaching origin story. How did you get your start in coaching? How did you figure out you were a coach? And then how did you start a coaching business? What was your what was your start? Great. So I started off uh, very humble beginnings, really. Um, it started off as my role as, as, um, as an accounts clerk. And then I got the opportunity to be uh, play a very pivotal role in the event management for one of our country's uh, top event. And this, this career lasted for just about 14 years. And um, then I realized after, after this time, um, it was 2014 when all of this happened, I, I started to feel, you know, I, I, I myself reached that pinnacle in my career. Um, and, but somehow there was something I felt I was, it was missing. And, and there was that discomfort. One of the things that I found I was always able to do very well is communication. The ability to just communicate well, to make others feel comfortable, so that they can express themselves, be themselves, and also do their best work. So I managed a team at that point in time. So I, I made a decision. I said, you know what, Karina, it's time for you to just just, just see about you and, and just do what you really want to do. So I launched out, first started off really as a freelancer. I was finishing up some studies and all of that. And then I decided to register my business. Um, it was first a consulting business. I came to know about coaching really around 2016, 17. I was a part of the, the organization development network. I used to attend those conferences. Um, very interesting organization yeah. development. It's really the work that I did along with event management, just, just to deal with organizational design and all of that. So I ended up meeting a master certified coach. And I had so many questions about coaching at that point in time. And we just connected. I think it was like divine intervention. We met in 2017 and um, I explained, you know, where I would like to go and all of that. And then um, she guided me on, on how I should go about starting this, this coaching business, coaching career, so to speak. And so it, it, it started off there in 2017 and I did my coaching um, studies and qualifications. I'm an ICF certified coach um so that's how it really started off it started off with me just venturing out deciding here's what the sky's the limit you do what you would like to do and I just launched out decided to go to this conference and there I met you know I met her along with other people who are still with me um on this journey today so that's how it all started off me. I love that. I love that. It's, I, I love that. It's, it's such a key element that we, we talk about it a lot, but just that, that moment where you decide, you know what, this feels right. You know, it's like, you're not, you're not just trusting your gut. I mean, you're thinking about things, you're, you know, <laughs> questioning your heart, you're talking to the people who are closest to you, but there comes a point where there's just, it's time to decide that you're just going to go after it. You're going to go after discovering what it is that's yes. going to make you happy and also help you to serve the, the <laughs> world you live in, to help the people around yes. you. And it's love that you made that decision. And then I love how you how you set it up because you're basically like you ascribed it to divine intervention because that's that's really what it feels like. You're essentially rewarded for that trust, that leap mm -hmm. by yeah. all of a sudden people come come, come into your life. Who you're like, this is too perfect. I can't, yes. I can't, <laughs> it's just, it's just sorry too for perfect. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's lovely. And also the planning is very important. So you, you need to, to understand, you know, okay, so these are some of the traits, the things that keep coming up. People are saying, oh, Karina, you are this, you are that with people. So I, I felt connected to it. And I was like, you know what, let me explore. Let me go there and see and see what's in it for me. I like that. Explore, explore, exploration. That's a very good word for it because yeah, there is yeah. as much as you see and decide and take action, 
there is that action in that action, there's a great deal of exploration, curiosity, you know, about yourself and the world around you, about yourself and the people around you. And that's really, I find that to be at the, at the heart of pretty much every coach I talk to is this just this curiosity about yeah. themselves and the world and that these, they choose to explore, explore it. And mm -hmm. the discoveries are quite frankly, amazing in my opinion. I know I gushed to you a little bit before yeah. I hit record about all the coaches I get to talk to and how I feel like I have like a choir of coaches in the back of my head now, because <laughs> I'll think of something and I was like, oh yeah, I, I, it wasn't my original thought. It was some coach told me about this. They discovered this, you know, however many years ago when they were doing whatever they were, they, whatever they're up to. It's just, it's, it's great. And as you can tell, I start to gush about it a little bit when I think about it, because it's just, it's so powerful. It's so simple, relatively speaking, like obviously you've come a long way. And so you can speak very eloquently about it. Um, but I like how it's just like, you know, yeah, it, sometimes it takes a while. These things, these journeys start, you know, years, years ago. Um, and you bring up, bring, bring you up to this point. And it's just like, oh, this is amazing. I just need to show people my journey and help them find theirs help them explore <laughs> that's it right there <laughs> <laughs> okay i'll stop gushing about the past and let's start chatting about the present what does your coaching business look like right now um and i like to phrase it this way like basically who do you coach and how do you coach them like so who who is your who who is your focus um mm -hmm. you know entrepreneurs obviously um, professionals, and then how do you coach them? Is it one on one group coaching, uh, maybe like speaking events, courses, all of the above? <laughs> okay, so here's what I do entrepreneurs, whether you are in business already, aspiring, you have business ideas, there is a shift from your corporate job to your entrepreneurial journey. That's my story. Um, I work with those kinds of people. Um, I'm also very passionate about small business owners. Um, I think that you know it's it's they they are so passionate and what what I realize and, and and this is how I do work with them I I partner with them I consider myself to be a strategic business partner so we come in together to collaborate and I am I give you the space to to be and to say whatever it is is on your mind um, what I have realized also that a lot of um, clients they are. They can't really put stuff into words like, 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 okay, so if I ask questions, the words are not there, the, the full sentences can't come out. So I'm just there and we just partner and we talk how I do it one on one is really is working for me. I believe that it's it's a, a lot of leaders, they, they may feel uncomfortable to, to truly uh, be themselves and speak their truth in front of everyone. And it will happen over time. So what I do is that I, I work one on one with with these entrepreneurs, leaders, business professionals, and we can then move over into their into their team. So let's say it's a it's a business owner. And I work with the leader first. I work with him and then we include other team members. We include, you know, the decision makers in his business that he would like to have, you know, on board to be a part of this journey. And, and that's basically how I do it. I also I also do training. So I I I I put I I put a package together as a customized package. I've never done the exact same thing for one company and the other company. It's always different, very customized, simply because leaders, business owners, they it's their vision and it's very unique. So I can't, you know, I can't do like a template and say, okay, this is what I'm gonna put into company um, B because I did it for company A. So it's a lot of collaboration, a lot of um back and forth, you know, understanding, communicating well um ensuring that that i am understood and i understand what is being said um what what i also also understand is that is that even the team members they want to be included and they want to know that they're adding value also and a lot of um a lot of a lot of times in companies that's not the case uh people are not not clear as to exactly what I'm doing. Am I adding value? Um, is this job really benefiting, you know, the greater good of the company? So it's 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 along those lines. So it first starts off as one-on-one -on -one for me, and then it's um, incorporated with um, other team members via training and 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 team coaching to an extent. I love that structure. It, ma it makes so much sense as you describe it because it's really like an inside out approach. And I really appreciate that it's, it starts out as one to one. You start at the heart of the business. And then I just love how you identify and speak to how you know, employees, managers, partners, people who are in the business, they also really care about the business. They want to add value. They want to see the business succeed. And so I like that you start with the founder, with the owner, 
and then it radiates out mm -hmm. so that the so that the less so basically like you basically plant the seed deep and then it radiates out and blossoms and so that everybody feels like they're a part of the same unit they're a part of the same organization they're contributing value to That's and getting value from i just i love that approach and it's also at, at the, the foundational uh values that you express uh, holding space creating space for someone to mm -hmm. be themselves to let themselves kind of move into it because it can be very uncomfortable and you might not always have that space elsewhere in your life coaches are excellent at that and i love that you have that as a focus and then also that I, I usually think of it as like an act of translation where you're almost translating someone's language back to them so they can understand themselves better. Yes. Mm -hmm. That's it. Yeah, and there's no question there. I just love it. <laughs> just to add to this, a lot of us, we understand the functions of the business. So I understand my role, but there is a relational aspect that's very important. And that's mm. where a lot of um, companies, they miss the mark, a lot of business leaders. So yes, I know my job, they're not symbols of it, but what about the relationship that creates that connection, the psychological safety, the engagement, and that has to be addressed. There's a gap usually, you know, from my experience there. And this is why I love coaching because it, it, it sees that gap and it fills it with intelligence and emotion and purpose and value. Um, yeah, and anybody, anybody who's listened to any other episodes <laughs> will understand that usually by the time awesome. I get, it's, by the time I get to the end, I'm just gushing about the coach I'm talking to. I fall in love a little bit every single, every single coach I talk to. So you are no exception. That's I love nice. what you do and I love your approach so much. You have a big heart. <laughs> it's, it's got, got to have room for all, for all these, for all these coaches that are more than worthy of love. Um, let's before, because we're already getting a little long in the tooth here. I could talk to you all day. I feel like, um, Let's talk about what's coming around the corner. Is there anything coming up in 2022 that you're excited about? Something new for the business or is it just more of the same goodness? What's what's coming up in the next year or so for you? Business development. Yes, hmm. definitely. Um, I do have a, a group. There is a Facebook group that I would like to officially launch. It is called Clarity Matters. It's not public. I'm still doing some back end work and all of that there. I'm also designing um, some training courses. Uh, particularly in the area of core values, understanding the concept. So I have a framework that I work with based on my experience. I call it the core values connection. So it deals with the individual, it deals with the organization, and it also deals with the team. So all of that coming together. So it would be about three, uh, three different courses, and um, that's going to be available on a learning platform. So I'll share more on that um, later on. Yeah. When the time comes. Awesome. Where can... Where can people find out more about this stuff as it develops? Like, and, and, and also that I'm sure you have a website that people can go to as well, but also where do you like to connect with people on social media? I find that people have a preferred platform that they like to have their, their like conversations on. So basically where, where can people meet you and get to know you? <laughs> okay. So you can meet me on Facebook, Karina mm -hmm. Suku, also mm -hmm. on LinkedIn under Karina Suku. And I do have business pages, Caption Consulting and Coaching Limited. So also on Facebook and LinkedIn, and you can all always shoot me a message and I'm there, I'll, I'll respond. I am open to understanding others and, and learning also. As a coach, you learn, you never ever stop learning. Oh, we, we never stop learning, you should never stop. <laughs> yeah, that, that term lifelong learner gets thrown around a lot, but every every single coach I talk to, they live that truth. Every single yeah. coach I talk to, they, yeah. they, they never stop being curious. <laughs> curiosity yes that's 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 a, a part of the of the of the treat you know it's 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 what you do one of the one of it the is. key treats oh is. and my website caption yes. consulting and coaching caption consulting and coaching you can get me there you can just type it in on google and and it'll pop up perfect um man, is there anything else you want to add before we go we're already we're already getting past our little 15 minute limit but yeah anything else you just want to, you that want to in there? just that listen i mean we are to be on purpose people, be on purpose. And if you're not on purpose, you can never really be your best and do your best. And I will also like to say that we need to have that heart and head alignment all of the time. And if at any point you feel as though it's not there and you need to just get that, then reach out to me at any point in time. And we'll connect, we'll talk, we'll have a clarity moment. Ooh. It was nice being here. I love it. A clarity moment. I think, I think, yeah. I think we should end it there. Thank you so much, Karina, for being here. Um, I, I feel, I feel some clarity already, although I'm, oh, I'm yeah. so I'm, I'm feeling greedy at the same time. Like I want to just keep talking to you, but 
thank you so much for being here and thank you for sharing your time with us today. My pleasure. My pleasure. Thank you. Thank you, Kevin. And thank you to the you listeners, you audience out there. Really appreciate it. And we'll talk to you again soon. Oh, yes.